Oh, hi. Welcome back to the arcade school. This lesson deals with power supplies. Every electronic game has one or more power supplies in it. Well, what the heck do we mean by a power supply? Surely the power for the game comes from the wall receptacle. But the wall receptacle, unlike a battery like this, which is DC or direct current, where there's a positive and negative terminal, is what we call alternating current, or AC. Alternating current actually changes direction 60 times a second. Well, alternating current is great for things like weed whackers and toasters and electric hair dryers and so on, but it's no good at all for things like computers. Computers require direct current to operate, such as the direct current from the battery. Well, we know that video games and pinball machines are not battery operated. How does the direct current come from the AC? Well, that's the job of the power supply. The power supply takes the alternating current and changes it into direct current. Also, the power that comes from the wall is 120 volts or so. But the computer requires just 5 volts to operate. If we tried to connect the 5 volt computer to the 120 volt power source, the excessive pressure would literally blow the tops off of all the ICs. So the power supply also lowers the voltage for us, as well as changing it from alternating current into direct current. Let's start off by taking a look at a simple graph of alternating current. This graph shows voltage in the vertical direction and time in the horizontal direction. Any positive voltage is shown as a line drawn above the zero volt point. Remember, zero volts is our ground, our electronic reference point. Negative voltages are shown as a line drawn below the ground line. The time from one end of the graph to the other is one-tenth of a second. Notice that the voltage does not instantly change from positive to negative. The voltage actually starts out at zero volts and gradually builds up to a peak positive voltage before returning back to zero volts again. When the voltage returns to zero, it keeps dropping until it reaches a peak negative voltage that is equal to the positive peak voltage. And again, it returns to zero. This is known as one cycle of alternating current, and the process is repeated 60 times a second. Notice that the voltage actually drops to zero volts every 120th of a second after each half cycle. The graph we've made is a picture of the alternating current and is known as a waveform.